Yo, what's good? This is your boy Derek Branch here, Memphis Wild Strike Self Sports. In tonight's video, I'm gonna go ahead and recap um tonight's matchup between excuse me, the Memphis Tigers and the Charlotte 49ers. Charlotte Charlotte came into this matchup, a three game winning streak, was in second place in the uh, AAC standings, while Memphis was on a two game winning streak and you know were fading in the um, conference standings and hopes of the NCAA tournament but Bird fading as well. Um, the night, Memphis won this game by a score of 76-52, ended their two-game losing streak, and ended the 49ers' three-game losing streak. So Charlotte is now 17-9, 11-3 in the conference. Memphis now is 19-8, 8-6 in the conference. Um, for this game, man, you know, Vegas was right. You know, Vegas was right about this game all along. That's why they do what they do down there in regards to the betting. They had uh, Memphis winning a, uh, about five points, the point minus five, five and a half over the 49ers. They were confident about that, and that's what happened. You know, they really they went over the um, spread, you know, 70, by 76 points. They dropped 76 over uh, 76 points on Charlotte. And this this tonight the match tonight's matchup man looks like the team the Memphis team that that resemble with that they've put out there on the court in the past the way they play you know low scoring game you know defense you know making it difficult for their opponents to score points that's what this is that that's what we saw tonight and they bought out another rotation another. Star five, and it wasn't. Um, you know, Peter Penny Harder was was saying that he was gonna bring people out there on the court, feature players to, to start a five that care. The only really difference was um, you had Dandridge, Tomlin, David Jones, Nicholas Jordan, and Javon Quinley. So you didn't have Jaquan Walton playing starting starting in the starting five in tonight's game. That was the only difference, but good performance tonight. You know, um, from the, the entire starting five. Dandridge had eight points, one block, one steal, one assist, nine rebounds, led all Tigers in rebounds tonight. Nikoan Tomlin, 16 points. He was huge tonight. 16 points, one block, seven rebounds. Huge performance tonight. Four out of seven field goals, seven out of eight at free throw line. Huge game. Davey Jones had tw played 23 minutes. 10 points, uh, one steal, two assists, three rebounds. Fortunately, he could not finish tonight um, due to an injury. I think it's around his eye, if I'm not mistaken, because when I saw him, on, they showed him on the sideline. He was kind of like favoring his eye the whole time. Uh, hopefully, there's it's, it's nothing serious um, than that, than what it is. Um, I got to get the updates on it uh, later in the, in the night. But um, he didn't finish the game. But by the time he went out, we down, he went down with that injury. Memphis was pretty up, was up by a large margin, so it it wasn't really worth it to like, you know, bring him back in the game because he was trying to come back in. I'm, I'm assuming trying to get back in the game. Um, he was walking towards the um on the file, you know, on the sub line, and it didn't let him get back in the game. So it was just best that they, uh, they they keep him out. Because Memphis was in charge of this game, not not in the beginning, but going towards the half, they got the lead, and then uh, came back in the second half. They just pretty much dominated um, the 49ers. Nicholas Jordan was huge as well, eight points, four rebounds. Um, yeah, eight points, four rebounds. Played 22 minutes, four of six field goals. Javon Quinley. 31 minutes, played the most minutes out of, yeah, him and uh, Nikawan Tomlin played the most minutes out of anybody tonight. 31 minutes, uh, 6 to 12 field goals, three, made three threes tonight, uh, 17 points, three steals, six assists, two rebounds. That was a fishing night for him. That was an efficient night for him. Off the bench, um, Nikawan won had nine points. Nine points, played 30 minutes. Nine points, 30 minutes, four rebounds. Uh, made one three tonight. 
Ashton Hardaway, um, only three points, 11 minutes. John P Johnson Pierre, no points, 10 point, played 10 minutes. Joe Cooper, the walk on out of Olive Branch, he played nine minutes tonight, got three points. So they shut down the defense tonight, shut down a really good Charlotte team that is proficient at the, behind the three point line. Their top scorer, their leading scorer for uh, this season, uh, for, I believe. Patterson had averaging 14.8 points per game. He had no points tonight. Play had no points tonight. It was just an off night for him. For no points tonight. One assist. Play 15 minutes. Their rim protector, um, Milicic, Igor Milicic Jr., he had 16 points. Um, made two threes tonight. 6 to 12 field goals, 36 minutes, five rebounds. It was an off night for him, to me, in my opinion. Uh, then, and tonight, they were just off just as a team, though. Because this is a really good shooting team. A really good team. That team that's really good at shooting jumpers. There were 6 of 21 uh, from the three-point line tonight. They only, they only made six threes. Memphis made eight. Memphis made eight threes. Rebounded. Memphis out um, rebounding. Let's see. Charlotte had four. Had, Charlotte had 20 rebounds. Memphis had 38. Just, just out rebounds them from start to finish. You know? Um, free throws. Memphis connected on 16 out of 25 uh, trips to the line. Charlotte had was 6 of 11. They were just, they were just, Charlotte was just not productive tonight, man. This is. This is like one of those performances that we saw against Virginia, where Memphis just pretty much outworked them from the start of the game to the finish of the game. You know, and there were moments in this game where, like, Charlotte was trying to, like, ease back into the lead and steal momentum, and Memphis just threw another punch at him, just countered every time. Every time Charlotte tried to, get back into this game, try to, like, cut it into the, to the lead. Memphis was throw a jab. Throw, throw a jab and put the 49ers back out of sync, throw them back out of sync. And Memphis did that throughout the entire game and won it. You know? Now, going forward, what this means? Can you continue this? Can you continue to play like this? And how is the health of David Jones for the next game because that's huge. That's a huge game because it, it, to be honest with you, I'm not sure this is a two bad league and other people and other people have bought this up as well. They, we, we were thinking that it was going to be a two bad league between you know Memphis or you know UAB and FAU with with FAU probably being a favorite to win the conference tournament, so they get the the one they get one bid and then. Another team get the second bid because of this automatic qualifier. That might not be the case because there's so much parity at the top. And FAU, it's not good as we think they are. They are right now because they just lost to, I believe, South Florida. So this might be a one bid league tournament, a one bid league conference right now. So crazy as it sounds, I'm not trying to get everybody's hopes up. Memphis has a lot to play for. They have a lot to play for. It's just that the march for error is it's a real slim now. And now is this game does the game against Florida Atlantic still mean something? Yes, it does. It still does mean something. It does. Regardless of how they put it, how um regardless of any way that you um you put it. It does mean something this Sunday. So status of David Jones is gonna be huge because you're already buying an eight ball, you know, a win tonight, even though it's one game, it gives hope. It provides hope because this team went on a 10-game winning streak, man. I keep bringing this up. They went on a 10-game winning streak and beat ranked opponents. If you can do that starting tonight, resemble, if you can resemble that team for the next four games, well, yeah, the next, uh, yeah, the next four, yeah, it's four games now. <coughs> you can resemble that. I don't think nobody can stop you. 
I don't think nobody can beat you. Excuse me, I don't think nobody can beat this team in the conference. That's not, it's not trying to sound hyperbolic or anything like that. You know? But you got to be consistent. You got to be consistent because after you could preside, could present the same amount of problems that Florida, that Charlotte was supposed to present tonight. But can your de- can his defense? Can we see the same type of performance that we see on? We can, can we see this on Sunday? It's a huge possibility, but we'll see how it play out. But huge win for the Tigers, you know, as they continue to fight, continue to scrap, continue to show that they belong in the tournament. Because if you win, you finish out. Um, Five and zero. Let's just say you finish out five and zero. Um, it's gonna be like the tournament, man. They're gonna make things even, you know, ten times, you know, expectations ten times higher. And once the tournament comes around, because you have to win all your games, and that may that may be the case for Florida Atlantic. You know, because it could go, it could, like I said, it could be, this could become a one bid league and where one team gets into the tournament. You know what I'm saying? What the, and when that one team is the conference champion, you know, so Tigers, it's, it's crunch time mode for the Tigers. And if they can, they can get back to, if they can get back to their pre AAC competition uh, status, if you get back into that mode, nobody's beating this team in this conference. Nobody. And they just got to go out there and do it. Because they got the talent. They got the personnel. They just got to go out there and do it. And set all these egos and all this other stuff aside. And come together as a team. You know? So we'll see how it play out, man. Good win for the Tigers tonight. They win by a score of 76-52 over um, Charlotte and are now 19-8 on the season. That's all I have for y'all for right now, man. Give me a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Let me know how you feel about tonight's uh, win. Are you excited? Are you still feeling the same feeling the same way about the Tigers right now? Or do you think there's um light at, light at the end of the tunnel? Check out strikesellsports.com for this content on the Memphis Tigers football and basketball program. Have a blessed day. Peace. I'm out.